My name is Kevin Higgins. This is the Remember Why You Started podcast. This is me taking a risk, jumping out there, right? With no risk, there's no story. Um, those of you who don't know who I am, I'm the founder of Stonefit Performance. Uh, Stonefit is something that I live by, stand by. You could even, I'll put the link in the description below, a podcast where I broke in detail what Stonefit means and how I created the name. To me, I kind of bounced around. You know, I've tried to do tons of different things. Once I was a football player, Next day I was an accountant, next day I was trying to be a nurse, I was going to be a plumber, I was going to be an electrician. So I definitely threw whatever at the wall and I kind of just saw what stuck. This was actually on accident, right? I didn't mean to actually open a gym, I didn't mean to kind of be a trainer. I just knew that where I was I didn't want to be. At one point, you know, I guess I was in like a darker path, you know, I wasn't happy with where I was. And I guess I was going through a lot. When my uncle had passed away, he was kind of the key factor why I didn't go to Wagner. Uh, I was going to Wagner College in Staten Island where he actually lived right next door. So when I was going to play football there, I was going to be my best friend, but I was going to live in my uncle's house or go back and forth with him. And he was passionate. He was a trainer at the time. He had just started his company, Mark 923 Fitness. When he passed, it just kind of my love for football kind of just went away. And it was right before I was supposed to go to school. And uh, as being that being like the key factor, I think that it just kind of turned me off. It tore me away. When I kind of was lost and I was bouncing on different paths, I just finally started to you know gain momentum and gain rhythm and you know when great things come it's just all about momentum I just didn't want to stop and I knew that I needed to do something so it started with just a routine of let me just get back into shape let me start working out again I'd work out I'd go to work I was an electrician and then I'd come home and I, you know I try to write down things how can I change my life I think it was Steve Jobs who said you know when you look in the mirror every day and you ask yourself are you happy when the answer is no too many days in a row then you know something needs to change that's why I say all the time, stress kills you. When you're doing things that you don't like and you have to pretend to be something that you're not or you, know, you pretend to put on the smile, it's more detrimental than it is helpful. You're made to be you. There's a specific reason, there's a purpose. And I felt like I was born to do something much different. Right? From the youngest age, I told my mom, like, I'm a one percenter, I'm gonna be different. I'm telling you, like, I'm, gonna make the, I'm gonna make it to the NFL or I'm gonna be the one percent that makes it. When little did I know, like, I feel like I'm the one percent. Like, not playing football is the greatest thing that, that never happened to me. By me not going there, there's a reason why it all happened. It put me on the path that I am now, and you know that's where I have to look, and I have to believe like that's why things didn't work out, because now I am where I'm supposed to be. That's why I'm starting this podcast, is I feel that I, I have to. I have so much information, not even about fitness, right? About life, about experience, about trying new things that I, I need to get out there, right? Because the biggest thing to me is when all these kids come here and they train, or even adults, and they ask me questions like, what can they take from me? What can I teach them? What can they learn from me? I want to see them grow just as well as I grow. Right? We help each other. There's tons of people here who we help. It's a community. It's a total family. Right? It's not a franchise. I want to build Stone Fit as a place where, you know, you can get away and you can escape uh, the harsh reality and kind of dream a little bit. Right? People always tell you that dreams are fake, but they're not. They're real. Right? I'm living proof. 23 years old, turning 24, and I'm extremely blessed to be in the position I am today. I have to thank myself for believing in myself and always pushing myself because in the end, like, no one's going to do the work for you. You have to be willing to sacrifice. You have to be willing to get extremely uncomfortable. You have to be willing to jump into situations that you don't know if it's going to work out, right? I remember, like, there was times I was like, I don't even know how I'm going to pay my car insurance, right? And I'd pay my car insurance, and I'd be at $7, and I'm like, what am I going to do? Like, I have to make this money and I have to pay a rent or I have to pay bills. So, and it just teaches you to hustle and grow and adapt and change. So over the past few years, I, I went through a lot and change and growth and development and growing my business and not only my business, but growing my personal brand of who I am, right? I want to walk into a room and I want people to know who I am. Right? I don't need to know Stonefit, what I stand for, what I believe. It's me as a person. I, I want to help change you and not only physically, mentally, tons of different ways. I want you to leave here a better person. Right, because it's almost like my life or anyone's life. Your time is just borrowed, right? We all borrow time in, in life when you're born and then eventually you have to give it away. So in that time, I want to leave such an impact and just mean so much to so many different people and things. And I want to be remembered in you know, ways that I never thought I would. You know, I would love for a million people to be at my funeral, right? To show that that's how many people I can affect. When I started this, it was never about making an income. It was always about making an impact. I want to be everything that when I was younger, I needed. And what I mean by that is, I remember when I first started, actually, I texted my mom and dad, because at the time I was supposed to go take a, uh, I was supposed to go do my final stage to become a plumber. 
And at the time, it was it was a job security. Was, you know, you were guaranteed over a hundred thousand dollars, full benefits, real work. And I remember I texted my parents, and I was like, "Listen, you, I will not ask you for another dollar ever again. I don't care if I make ten dollars, I make fifty dollars, I make twenty grand, I make two hundred grand, right? I just want to be happy. I just want to completely." just changed my life a little bit, right? This is what I'm meant to be. I'm meant to be around people. Right? I'm meant to communicate. I'm meant to help. That That's my purpose. And I, I truly felt that and I believe that. And, you know, eventually when you just live to your purpose and things happen on accident, those are the best types of success because it's not, it's like effortlessly, right? You're just kind of being you and the people who will follow, they support you because they trust you, they love you. And, you know, they, they love what you're about. And to me, that's the biggest thing is, you know, like I said before, I want to reiterate it is like, when I walk in or when you see me, I want you to understand how I feel about things, right? I want you to understand what I stand for, what Stonefit stands for, you know, my full intentions. Diving into the podcast and the whole reason, you know, like I said, why we started and what we want to do in 2023 is in order for me to take my next step and grow, right, you never want to get comfortable. So as we said, like everything is adapting and changing, adapting and changing. Everything's momentum. So sometimes like I don't really take a stop. I think since I started, I never like stopped and actually took a deep breath and understood. Right. I just kept growing and changing as time went on. Right. We used to set classes for six people. Then we had randomly had to set it for 12, then 18, then 24, then 30, then 36. And it just kept growing and growing. And now it's like, OK, well, now I need to rush order three squat racks because I need to grow right now. I need to change like tomorrow. What I want to do throughout these next whole year, honestly, is just take everybody in full detail of myself from a business standpoint, a personal development standpoint, right? How I'm going to grow my business, things that I'm going to do that work for me, that don't work for me, be a hundred percent transparent. And hopefully I can help young entrepreneurs as well. And, you know, when you look at this and you say like, wow, like that's a pretty good idea. Or, you know, I'm definitely not going to do that because there's situations and it, looking back on it, there's things that I wish I didn't do. But now also you realize like if I didn't make that mistake, then I wouldn't know and I wouldn't be in the position that I am in today. The number one advice that I can give anybody that I'm always going to give everybody is in order to receive, right, you have to be like 100% thankful for what you have. Right? Until you appreciate what you have, you're never going to be able to receive more. And I try to tell people that all the time. So you have to be comfortable in your own skin. You have to be comfortable where you are. Like you're never going to change who you are, right, as an individual. Like maybe as a physical standpoint, yes, of course you can change. Right, but from you have to love yourself, right? When you're by yourself, the things you say to yourself are so important, and that's why I say so much. Like, do not speak down on yourself ever, because right? it's not good. Like, you you're gonna feed yourself, and you want to feed yourself positive things, and that's what this is. This is me constantly feeding myself, feeding people the information that I wish I had, the podcast that I wish I could listen to. I hope that this steers people in the right direction, and I hope that it gains traction because. You know, like I said, there's so much to say. There's so many things on my mind. There's so many, so much information that I want to tell our members, right, that I don't physically have time to. I, I don't have time to sit there and type out messages and explain in thorough detail of, you know, why certain carbs are good, why certain carbs are bad. You know, the people I want to bring on here are people with real life experience. I want, like my, even my friend Nick, right? Nick is here. He's helping us out. He set up the podcast. Right? Nick's someone who's on a similar path as me, right? He's someone who's building a brand. He's building who he is, right? He, he, he does tons of podcasts, sets them up, videos, just a million different things. And I can't wait to have him come talk about it. My friend Vin, he's the one who actually ignited the podcast. Or even my girlfriend, Vanessa, right? She's an accountant. She's a serious. She goes into busy season next week. So she's going to get busy. But she's someone who prioritizes fitness so much. So um, to refer her, like, just to how can I make my life better? Or even her mother, who's someone who is an immigrant, Right. She's a full immigrant. She's from Portugal. She came over and she started with nothing. Right. She went rags to riches and she built an amazing life for herself. And uh, it, it just in people who I feel like you can relate to because you see all these celebrities and these stories and like, you know, your athletic ability. Like a lot of people are just blessed and they're put in the position where they can grow and succeed. But I want to hear from the people who had to build from bottom up. I mean, one of the biggest inspirations in my life is my father. My father is someone who dropped out of school in the ninth grade. He finishes, got his GED. He dropped out of school in the ninth grade. He had my brother, my sister, and myself. My sister's two years older than uh, my brother and I by the time she was 23. So I'm 23 now, and I couldn't imagine having three kids, let alone making $8 an hour. Right? They bought a house. They did all this stuff. His mother was sick. She had breast cancer. And I know his whole life, it almost seemed like he was just, he wants to build a life where that his mother would be proud of. And he's so prideful on that. And it's hard to even have conversations about it because in the end, you're just going to get emotional about it. I feel like I owe this to him, right, as an inspiration. And he'll be on here soon to talk about his life. 
is because to see how much he had to sacrifice and my mother had to sacrifice in order to get myself and my siblings in the position that we are today, right? Without their sacrifices, I wouldn't be able to be who I am today. I wouldn't have the resources. The discipline is the number one thing, right? He always said, you can't have anything if you're not willing to put the work in, right? You, you're not gonna have extra money if you're not willing to work in overtime. If you wanna buy things without looking at the price, you have to be willing to work without looking at the clock and you know those things hit me certain ways when you listen to certain quotes and you see you know what he did waking up at 3 a.m prioritizing his health right he's someone who's in phenomenal shape works out then he goes to work works overtime comes home to drive us to training and then basketball and then my mom would have dinner prepared you know i tell him about my girlfriend i don't think i ever ate out i ate out maybe two times in my entire life I, my mother's just always home cooked meals big on family and key values that i now value and I'm proud to value and I'm thankful for it, right? The life that I had growing up and the things that are important to me. And these are all things that I want to talk about and I want to show you that, you know, there's so much more to life. And I feel like I've seen so many different sides. I've been involved with so many different people and so many different um, experiences. And you see how p certain people live as opposed to other people live. And there's people who I want to bring on here who may have $10, but they are the most cheerful, happiest people, and they're going to show you a completely different perspective of life where, like, you know, as you see, we're all going to pass away at some point, right? But you want to make the most out of every second, every moment, every memory. So with the memories being said, um, I guess the next thing would be me manifesting what I plan on doing and the memories I plan on making. Uh, 2023 to me is going to be the most memorable, remarkable year that I've ever had. You know, I truly believe that. I feel that. I'm trying my best to speak it into his existence. That will be wonderful. But we're going to do our best to have a podcast a week. I want to post two YouTubes a week, three TikToks a day, Instagrams, Facebooks, you name it. But I want to build the brand in such a way that you're going to look back and be like, wow, he just stayed consistent. Because in the end, consistency is key. Right? The more you do, the better chance you're going to have. Dude who's working 100 hours a week is going to have more than the guy who's working 30. So in the end, I just I want to prove that hard work works, and that's the number one thing that I always felt, you know, and I'm going to stay true to that hard work works. We, I want to visit a bunch of states, seven to be exact, right? I want to vacation at least three times. I want to take time to sit down to have our family time with my immediate family. I want to grow my relationship with my girlfriend. That's another thing is choosing the right partner because a lot of people – end up not choosing the right partner. And, you know, I want to go in detail of why that's so important and why having like-minded values is important. I want to just continue to open the eyes and show that there's so much more to life than just waking up, going to work, and coming home, eating, and just being a robot, right, for the rest of your life. So I'm hoping that coming out here and speaking about it and showing that, wow, if, you know, if I'm bold enough and courageous to do this, then you are too. I'm going to keep it short. I'm going to keep it simple. For the most part, what this is going to be is my life, 100% transparent and open. I'm gonna bring people on. I'm gonna show you how I live, why I live, certain things that I value, why I value them. And I want you to hear from other people's perspective. And we wanna hear from how they value their life and things that are important to them. And just being 100% human and opening up, being courageous. In the end, you have to remember why you started. From the little kid who said they wanted to be something, where did your life change where you had to change? 100% open format. There'll be questions. I'd love to hear from you guys, whatever you want to know, from my business standpoint, how I grow my business, things that I plan on doing, things that I wish I did, wish I didn't. But this is my thank you. and uh, Welcome to the journey.